Wild Bill Hickok, the man behind the legend. James Butler Hickok, known as Wild Bill Hickok, is a legendary figure of the American Old West. His life was full of adventure, controversy, and mystery. While celebrated as a courageous lawman and a sharpshooter, Hickok's life was also marked by violence and personal challenges. This video explores 11 intriguing aspects of Hickok's life, shedding light on both his heroic deeds and the more controversial aspects of his character. Fact number 1. The McCannells Massacre, a Violent Genesis. In July 1861, Wild Bill Hickok faced a pivotal and violent confrontation at Rock Creek Station, Nebraska. The event, later dubbed the McCannells Massacre, involved a deadly shootout with David McCannells and his men over a dispute involving station property and Hickok's role as a station manager. McCannells and two of his associates were killed. While accounts vary, Hickok's role in the gunfight was significant, marking his emergence as a fearsome gunman. This incident was a turning point, setting the stage for his infamous reputation as a dangerous and deadly figure in the Old West. Number 2. Deadly Duel with Davis Tut. On July 21, 1865, Wild Bill Hickok engaged in what would become one of the most famous gunfights in the Old West, facing Davis Tut in Springfield, Missouri. Stemming from a gambling dispute and a quarrel over Hickok's prized watch, the duel epitomized the era's code of personal honor. Hickok's calculated shot at Tut from an astonishing 75 yards away demonstrated not just his skill but also the deadly seriousness of such confrontations. The event's widespread reporting and sensationalism transformed Hickok into a legendary figure, immortalizing the quick-draw duel as a symbol of the Wild West. It highlighted the lawlessness and personal vendettas that characterized the frontier, where reputation and respect were often defended with lethal force. Number 3. Unexpected Matrimony, Union with Agnes Thatcher Lake. In 1876, a year before his death, Wild Bill Hickok took a step away from his adventurous life to marry Agnes Thatcher Lake. Lake, a widow, was an experienced circus performer and proprietor, a stark contrast to Hickok's world of gunslinging and law enforcement. Their marriage, which lasted only a few months due to Hickok's death, revealed a lesser-seen aspect of his personality. This union to a strong and independent woman like Agnes Thatcher Lake highlighted a different, perhaps softer, side to the infamous gunman, a deviation from his well-known public persona. Number 4. The Blurry Line Between Lawman and Murderer Throughout his career as a lawman and gunslinger, Wild Bill Hickok was involved in numerous shootings, some of which led to allegations of murder. While many of his killings were justified within the context of his role as a sheriff or marshal, others remained mired in controversy. These incidents contributed to his complex legacy, intertwining his image as a hero of the Old West with that of a man who often resorted to lethal violence, blurring the lines between law enforcement and lawlessness. Number 5. A Life Riddled with Gambling Hickok's penchant for gambling was well-known and often problematic. His frequent participation in high-stakes poker games led to financial instability and various altercations. This habit was a consistent thread throughout his life, influencing many of his decisions and interactions. His final moments, spent playing poker in a Deadwood saloon, were a testament to his unending commitment to the game. On August 2, 1876, Hickok was shot in the back of the head by Jack McCall, a disgruntled fellow gambler, while holding what became known as the dead man's hand, aces and eights. Number 6. The Legacy of the Dead Man's Hand Wild Bill Hickok's final moments at a poker table in Deadwood, South Dakota, on August 2, 1876, have become an integral part of Wild West lore. He was shot in the back of the head by Jack McCall, a man Hickok had previously beaten at poker. At the time of his death, Hickok was holding a hand of cards that would become infamous as the dead man's hand, two black aces and two black eights. The exact fifth card in his hand remains a matter of debate among historians. This hand has since become a symbol of ill fate and a poignant reminder of the dangers that were a constant in Hickok's life. Number 7. Deteriorating Vision, Hickok's Fading Sight In his later years, Wild Bill Hickok faced a debilitating eye condition, 
possibly glaucoma or trachoma, which progressively impaired his once sharp vision. This was a significant handicap for a man whose legendary shooting abilities were central to his identity and survival. The ailment not only diminished his physical capabilities but may have also impacted his psychological well-being, as it eroded the skill that had defined much of his life and legend. Hickok's failing eyesight symbolized the waning of the era of the classic gunslinger, as he struggled to adapt to a changing world where his kind was becoming obsolete. Number 8. Hickok's Controversial Tenure as a Lawman Wild Bill Hickok's role as a lawman was marked by a blend of courage and controversy. Serving as marshal of frontier towns like Abilene, Kansas, Hickok was known for his hardline approach to maintaining order. His tenure was characterized by a series of violent encounters and shootings, which, while effective in imposing law and order, often raised questions about the excessive use of force. Hickok's style of law enforcement mirrored the untamed nature of the American frontier, where justice was frequently delivered at the barrel of a gun. His actions, though sometimes criticized, also cemented his reputation as one of the most formidable lawmen of the Old West. Number 9. The Shadow of the O'Kelly Incident One of the darker episodes linked to Wild Bill Hickok involves the alleged murder of John Wesley Harden's brother, a claim propagated by Harden himself, a well-known outlaw. Harden, who had his own notorious reputation, accused Hickok of killing his brother, though historical records provide no concrete evidence to support this assertion. This claim, whether true or not, added a layer of mystery and notoriety to Hickok's already formidable legend. It also highlighted the tangled web of rumors, vendettas, and the often blurred lines between lawmen and outlaws in the Old West, where personal feuds and rough justice frequently drove the narrative. Number 10. Living with a Bullseye The legend of Wild Bill Hickok, marked by his exceptional skills as a gunslinger and lawman, inevitably attracted challenges from those seeking fame. Living with the constant threat of being called out by ambitious gunslingers, Hickok's life was a relentless series of potential deadly encounters. This notoriety meant that Hickok was perpetually trapped in a cycle of vigilance and preparedness, shaping his life into one of caution and paranoia. His existence under such pressure was a stark reminder of the dark side of fame in the Wild West, where being a renowned figure often meant living in the crosshairs of danger and unpredictability. Hickok's life story, marked by these continuous challenges, mirrored the volatile and often violent nature of the American frontier. Number 11. Hickok's Enduring and Complex Legacy Wild Bill Hickok remains an emblematic figure of the American frontier, embodying the contradictions and complexities of the era. His life, woven into the fabric of American folklore, oscillates between his valorous deeds as a lawman and his more shadowy exploits as a gambler and gunslinger. Hickok's story, replete with tales of gunfights, gambling, and personal challenges, reflects the tumultuous and often violent nature of the times he lived in. While his acts of bravery and skill with a firearm made him a hero to some, the darker aspects of his life contributed to a legacy that continues to intrigue and inspire, underscoring the multifaceted nature of figures from the Wild West.